In the Christian calendar, Holy Saturday holds a unique and profound significance. It is the day that concludes the Lenten season, falling just before Easter Sunday, and is a day steeped in contemplation, anticipation, and profound silence. This is the day that commemorates the final day of Christ's death, a day that is often associated with his triumphant descent into the realm of the dead. In the chronology of Holy Saturday, the events begin with Jesus, his body lying in repose in the tomb. The world seemingly held its breath, as the saviour of mankind lay in the quiet stillness of death. The chief priest and Pharisees, in their fear and suspicion, approached Pilate with a request. They asked him to post guards and seal the tomb in an attempt to prevent any tampering with Jesus' body, as recorded in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 27, verses 62 to 65. As the day wore on, life began to stir again. As evening fell, a few women emerged from their homes, their hearts heavy with grief. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James and Salome. They made their way to the market where they purchased spices. These were not for any festive meal or celebration, but for a far somber purpose. They were to be used to anoint the body of Jesus in accordance with burial customs of the time. This poignant scene is captured in Mark's Gospel, chapter 16, verse 1. Holy Saturday, then, is a day of quiet reflection and waiting in the Christian faith. It is a day of deep significance, representing the tension between death and life, despair and hope. It is a reminder of Jesus' death, yes, but it also serves as a prelude to the joyous celebration of his resurrection. It is a testament to the Christian belief that even in the darkest hours, hope remains and light is just around the corner. So, as we journey through Holy Saturday, let it serve as a reminder of the depth of God's love for us. A love so deep, it led to the cross, the tomb, and ultimately, to the triumphant resurrection. Let it remind us of the promise of new life and eternal love that awaits us, just as it did for Jesus on that first Holy Saturday, and let it fill us with the hope and anticipation of the joy that Easter Sunday brings.